Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we get to review Numar's big bad boy, the king of the road, the 2018 King Air. This particular floor plan is the 4534. And the reason I chose this floor plan, I personally really like the way it's set up. You have a large U-shaped kitchen, you have a beautiful master bath with a double vanity back there as well. We've done a couple of custom options in here as you do have some options in seating and I'll go through that as we go through the RV. One of the things I do want to start off on though is the floor itself. So rather than having the high shine polished porcelain floor, the King Air uses this textured uh, wood appearing tile here. So it's a porcelain tile, kind of looks like wood. And again, it has the texture, so it's a non-slip surface, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Runs all the way through the RV. Even into the slides, Numar uses what they uh, have named more floor. And if you take a look at the slide out system here, it allows for a true flush floor slide right here and allows them to put tile in that slide out as well. If we take a look up at the ceiling, you have a beautiful ceiling treatment right here in the center. LED lights run all the way down, and you'll also see these. And what this essentially is, is it's a way to hide your AC units. Rather than having duct work all the way through, which is kind of an eyesore, they put it all right here in the center, which keeps a very clean, uniform look. And when the coach is all closed up, it still gives you full access to that AC. In fact, the King Air is actually equipped with two 3000 watt inverters one of them which is purely dedicated to run the refrigerator as well as the center AC unit here as long as the coach is running. That way when you're going down the road you can actually have the house portion AC on not just the chassis which is pretty darn cool for anyone that's riding in here. We take a look over here at the side. Uh, so this is one of the changes. Normally this is a 68 inch jackknife sofa here. We have changed it out and swapped that over into a uh, fold out sofa, a fold away bed. And the reason is we have chairs across the way which I'll show you in just a minute. Villa furniture throughout the King Air folks, extremely comfortable, very durable as well. I know that's something that's definitely a concern, you know, especially when you have the white leather, the last thing you want is something that's going to uh, mar easily, but this cleans up nice and easy. And again, it will take some use and abuse. You'll also see that it is power right here. You have power footrests on both sides. So no matter where you're at in here, if you're in the captain's chair, the uh, co-captain's chair over here, or in the two chairs across the way, everyone in here can put their feet up and relax, which is awesome. If we take a look over to the side here, you'll see you have the little solid surface countertop right there, which is nice underneath a little bit of extra storage. Uh, the cool thing about this is it is quite usable for the passenger here as well. If they need to get to something real quick, they can just reach right behind there and grab it. You'll also see this electrical outlet here. That one again is mainly for the passenger, but if you look on either side of the sofa, you have one on both sides of the sofa too. So if you need to plug in any kind of cell phones or tablets while you're traveling, you can do that there. Or even when you're sitting here, you know, just again, looking at your cell phone, you have a place in which you can plug that in. Directly above that is our 49 inch Sony Ultra High Def TV. This is a 4K TV and it's on the Televator system which is really uh, cool. The thing I really like about this folks is it's almost silent. You basically can't hear it which is great. But this way you just pop it up when you want to watch TV. If you don't, if you're all done with it, the control for it is over on the other side. I'll show you that in a little bit here. But you just touch a button it goes down just like that. And again, you can't hear it at all which is phenomenal. You have some lights on both sides here. Of course, you have a big window there when that goes down. You have night and day shades throughout and all of those are powered throughout the entire coach. You have the Silverleaf Multiplex system. So if you take a look here, you can see your shades and you have several controls. They will all be slightly different based upon what room you're in as a lot of them are tailored to that specific room. Same thing with the lights. You'll see the lights right here. And again, those, uh, as I said, same variation, depending on where you're at in the room, those will change. The valances here around the windows are all ultra leather. Same thing when we look at the sides of our slides right here, beautiful ultra leather all the way throughout, gives it that high end bus look that you would want and expect. When you're watching TV for great sound quality, you also have the sound bar right up top there. It gives it that theater like experience. And if you do want to watch a movie, you have a DVD player right in there, HDMI outlet there as well. And in the back, you have hookups for your satellite. 
So if we take a look over to the side right here, we'll open this up. You can see some storage right there. Same thing over to the side here. We'll open that up, additional storage there too. So one of the other things, while we're taking a look at the cabinets, I and mean, they have the beautiful high shine on there, but one of the things I really appreciate from the King Air is the construction of the cabinetry. And as we go through the kitchen, we'll see a lot of it too. But they hand sand this, and they use what they call a unitized construction. So if you take a look, you can't really see any seams here. Even though you can kind of see where it meets up, you can't feel it at all. So it gives a very smooth look. Same thing on the doors right here. Everything it just looks like it's all one solid piece. So phenomenal job on the cabinets. As we move into the kitchen itself, again, as I mentioned, it's a U-shaped kitchen. Plenty of countertop space in here, which is probably something that you're looking for. If you look at the countertops, they are solid surface with a dripless edge. What that means is it's raised all the way around here. So that way if you spill a little bit of water or something, it's not going to drip all over the floor. It will stay on the countertop, making cleanup that much easier. Underneath our little extension here, you will notice two large pull-out drawers. You can see that right there. Big, deep drawers. Take a look at the sides, folks. It's not stapled. You have actual dovetail construction, so high-end construction cabinets. Again, not just the cupboard doors themselves, but your actual drawers here too. And if you notice, you have slow close drawers as well. So they just shut themselves. Uh, again, that's another nice feature to have. All the way throughout here, you have three full extension ball bearing drawers. Again, big drawers, same construction methods. You'll see that go in nice and slow. But this gives you plenty of room for your silverware and everything else that you want to store in here. Some of your larger utensils like knives, spatulas, things like that. While we're taking a look down here, you'll see right underneath you have courtesy lights throughout the kitchen here. One of the cool things about the King Air and you have courtesy lights throughout is that there are actually four motion sensors in here. So that way, at nighttime, all of your lights will be off. If you have to get up to use the restroom, whether you're out here or in the bedroom, when you get up, that motion sensor will catch your movement and it will turn on those courtesy lights for you so you can navigate your way through the coach. You can turn the motion sensors off completely if you want, but it is a great feature to have. Uh, right here is your dishwasher. This is a Fisher & Paykal dishwasher. Pull that out for you so you can take a look. That definitely makes life a little bit easier when you're on the road, giving you some of the amenities that you come to expect from home. Large pull-out drawer here. Again, they do have the dividers, mainly for silverware. As you can see right now, you have a whole bunch of remotes in here for all the TVs and all the other goodies. Uh, we'll kind of go through those as we go throughout the RV. And then right underneath here, you have some pre-divided storage right there. If we take a look up top here, so they have the cooktop covers giving you excellent prep space right here. When we take these off and flip them upside down, you will see that you have the cutting boards on the bottom. So that way, you know, you can just bring these over to the side, put them right here, use it as a cutting board, kind of wherever you want it. And also that will reveal your two burner induction cooktop. Uh, this does run off electric. It's uh, a low output, which is, or I'm sorry, low input. So it's a low voltage. That way it's not a huge drain as you're going to uh, use the induction cooktop here. It also heats a lot faster and cools down much quicker as well. So you have less chance to burn yourself or if you have grandkids or something over, less chance for them to hurt themselves too. On the sides, you'll see these little cutouts. And what that's for is actually so you can remove this. You can pick this right up and out. You can unplug it from the back. You can actually take this right outside, which is pretty cool. So that way, you know, let's say you want to cook some bacon in the morning, but you don't want to have the coach smell and have grease splatters everywhere. No problem. Unplug it, take it right outside. You'll see you kind of have the raised rail back here as well. And take a look at the gorgeous backsplash. You have a glass and marble backsplash here. It's absolutely beautiful. And you have that not just on this part right here, but also extending over into this section of the kitchen as well. We'll go over there in just a moment, but I do want to finish up top real quick here. I'll open this up for you so you can take a look. You'll see you have the shelf up top here. You have the carpeting on there, so anything you do put in, it has less chance to slide around, better chance to stay exactly where you want it. Two full extension drawers right here. Again, you see the slow close on there and the dovetail construction. Right up top is your convection microwave oven. Now remember, this coach doesn't have any propane, so it foregoes your standard oven and instead gives you the convection. 
I myself like a convection oven, it cooks nice and quickly, plus it is easier to clean. Right over to the side, you have some additional pantry storage there. Probably a great spot for some of your spices as it's a little bit smaller area, but a storage area nonetheless. And then right over here, you have your secondary prep space. Uh, this of course is where the sink is. This is my favorite part of the kitchen. I did take one of these sink top covers off. I have it stored underneath, which I'll show you in a moment. But of course, if we remove both of them, take a look at the size of that beautiful stainless steel sink. It's a farm style apron front sink, absolutely gorgeous. Folks, if you don't have enough space to do what you need to in this sink, you shouldn't have an RV. This is a massive sink in here. I absolutely love it. You also have the Delta touchless faucet right here. That is a pullout, as you can see. And then you have the purified drinking water dispenser right there. It has its own filters directly underneath the sink. Again, the beautiful backsplash here. Everything is well lit up. You have plenty of LED lights. Uh, outlets. You do have an outlet right over here. You have two on the other uh, part of the kitchen area we saw as well. So plenty of electrical outlets here in the kitchen. Storage up top, adjustable shelves. You can see that there. And notice how it has a chain on here. That way you're not accidentally banging your cabinets into each other, scuffing them up. Keeps them nice and clean. And then right here again, another large storage space. If we take a look underneath here, I'll open this up for you. On the one side, you see you have the pull-out drawer here, so a great spot to put a lot of your cleaning chemicals. On the other side, you have a covered trash can, so you can pull it out just like so. Now when you put it back, it keeps it nice and covered, that way it keeps any smells housed in that trash can and not leaking out into the coach. Making our way back a little bit further here, we'll actually come right back to here and then make our way forward again. So massive pantry right here, folks. This is uh, the majority of where your kitchen storage, this is where you'll put most of it. You'll see three large shelves up top, followed by three large drawers right down below. And again, dovetail construction all the way throughout here. Moving over one more space, take a look at this. This opens up, you have this beautiful pull-out pantry. You know, I've seen a lot of pull-out pantries in my day, and this one is by far the best built. Uh, it's sturdy, it's beautiful. It definitely is functional as well because it is so much wider than many of the pull-out pantries you get. And then one step further is the Whirlpool fridge-freezer combo. Residential fridge-freezer here, so probably very similar to something you would have in your house. Uh, it does have a water filter built right in here, so again, that is filtered. You know, you do have the drinking uh, faucet there, the specific one. You have a water filter here and you have a whole uh, house filter on the coach. So. Yeah, even in you know some bad water conditions, it'll make sure you have nice water in here. And to get that, you do have the dispenser right outside here as well. Uh, so that way you can just grab that. And then underneath here, we'll open this up. Well, you'll see that the, uh, the ice maker there was winterized, but uh, this normally is where your, all your ice will be. So that, this one does come with an ice maker. And of course, this bottom portion is your freezer compartment. Right here on the other side of the fridge, you have this gorgeous wood accent wall. You can see that it's kind of multi-levels here, giving it some 3D dimension, and again, helps give it that accent wall that you're looking for in a higher-end RV. All the way across this wall right here, folks, the entire slide there is the gorgeous ultra leather, again, having a very clean, you know, clean lines, high-end look. You have the wall scones right here, LED lights all the way up top. You'll see you have five here, five more over there. Really brightens up this slide area. Now again, this floor plan generally comes with a buffet style dinette. Instead, we went to the uh, booth style dinette here, which I really like. It is extremely comfortable and it comes with a power table. You can move this table in and out as well as up and down. It controls for it are right here. It's nice and simple to operate. Can see just like that you know it can go down depending on the height you want same thing with you know if you want it to come in a little bit further you can do that you can have it come out so it's easier to slide around uh, but you can't get a much easier to use table than that right there also tucked away you can't really see it but right up there you do have an electrical outlet on the other side of the window there so if you're sitting here you need to plug in like a tablet or cell phone you do have that electrical outlet right there which is pretty nice Big, beautiful windows here too, by the way, folks. You wanna talk about gorgeous windows, you certainly have it here in your living space, you know, big bus style windows, which is exactly what you want. 
And again, rather than uh, having a couch here, we forewent this sofa, which is why we have the sleeper sofa across the way, and instead went with the two recliners, which as a high-end couples coach, I think is a great option. These are extremely comfortable, just like all the furniture in here really is. And of course, th these recline too, so that way, again, you can kick your feet up, really relax. You have the center table right here, so if you have a drink that you wanna set down, you can do that. This does have storage in it. You can see big, long storage bins there. Same thing with the one right here on the bottom. Uh, both of these, um, again, are extremely comfortable. They swivel. You'll also see that you have electrical outlets right behind them. So again, you need to plug anything in, you can do that. And then on the wall right here, you have a lot of different controls. So as I had mentioned earlier, you have the shades, you have lights, and then your televator control to make your TV lift up and down is right there too. The captain's seat in the King Air is your villa furniture. It's an eight-way power seat with a power footrest. It has heating, cooling, and a massage feature. So that way when you get to your destination after a long drive, maybe you need to massage that sciatic nerve a little bit or your back, you can use this right here and you are able to control that and they both the intensity, speed, and location in order to help comfort you after that long drive. We take a look at the armrest right here, you'll see a couple different things. You see the Hadley air management system right there, makes it very easy to level the coach with your airbags in places where you're not able to use your hydraulic leveling. The HWH hydraulic leveling is of course right next to that, that is also an auto level system. And then you see your six speed Allison 4000 transmission. Right in front of that, you also have your tag dump as well as your three stage engine brake and you have some cup holders there. You'll see the blue lights. I currently have the accent lights turned on. You can certainly turn those off if you so desire. Moving up a little bit further, you have the Mobileye system. That is an excellent collision prevention system as well as lane assist to make sure you're staying in the lane, you're not departing from it, and also it will help you guide distance to make sure you don't smash into the back of someone or if you have a cyclist or something that comes out in front of you, again, it's just an extra safety feature. I'll sneak in here, you'll see a couple more things, of course, the lights, if you do wanna turn those off, you can do that right there. Uh, you have our parking brake there, power mirrors. If we take a look at the center dash here, you can see this one is all computerized, which is pretty darn cool. Uh, you also have your tire pressures on here, so you can quickly see exactly what pressures and temperatures your tires are at there. And you have several other features, of course, you have a uh, trip meter here, so you can take a look at that. Uh, diagnostics. If you want to look at your video, you can take a look at the rear backup camera, but we do have some other ones that are a little bit better at that. Uh, but overall, just a pretty great system. Also, it will tell you if you have baggage doors open, so uh, this one will give you a warning letting you know that those are open. You'll see the comfort drive adjustment right over here, so you can kind of fine tune that to whatever you, it's kind of whatever you feel, it gives a little more resistance on the wheel, kind of helps you turn it back, just makes driving a little bit easier. But again, it is definitely a personal preference. Right up top here, just like we had in the bedroom, folks, this is a charging mat. So that way you can take your cell phone, you have a nice little location, you can put it right there, it kind of rests. And if your phone uh, is capable of charging with a mat, then it can charge it right there. We take a look at the steering wheel here. Again, this one is on the uh, Spartan K3 chassis. You have your uh, standard controls on here, windshield wiper lights. The other cool thing this one has though is it, it is powered. So this one right over here is power tilt. You can control that. This one right here then will be your telescoping. And again, that is power. This bottom one here is your pedals. If you take a look at the gas and brake pedals, you can see those will move accordingly as well. So it really makes adjustment very easy. The other thing I really like is if you take a look right over here, this one has a driver memory, folks. It's not always one person that drives the coach, especially if you're going long distances, you may have a second or a third driver. With the memory, you can just touch a button, it will move everything to exactly where you want it, much like a luxury vehicle. We take a look in the center right here. We'll start off on the two main monitors. So, uh, you know, this is pretty cool. The, the, you have 10-inch monitors here. The one on the left, of course, is your radio. You also see the Rand McNally navigation that is built in. The thing I really like about this navigation, folks, is if you go into the RV info here, you can actually put in all the information of your coach. 
So, you know, anything that you need to add, you can here. And the one that's really important to me is height and, the, and weight as well for certain roads. But you want to make sure you input all the correct information in here. And height is good because this will actually navigate you around low bridges. So in the event, uh, you know, you are going through an area where there's some low bridges, it'll make sure that you don't go through those. Again, helping you prevent any damage to your coach. The camera on here is pretty sophisticated as well. So on the left hand, these, these two monitors are paired up. Left hand side, you get to kind of choose uh, what camera you want and it will appear on the right hand side here. So this one does have the HD 360 camera. You can see how pretty that picture is. That's in front of the coach right there. You also have your uh, mirrors. You can take a look at your mirrors or from the sides and then your back up here as well. And if you take a look, you'll also see this one does have your uh, again, 360 view. So you can take a look at several cameras at once or have the full 360, kind of as a split screen, has a full 360 with a split on the other side. You also have a couple different angles with your rear view. So you can see, uh, you know, if you have a stacker trailer or something like that, you have a couple of trailer cams there as well, or you can just see behind you right here. So excellent camera system uh, built in here to the King Air. On your main panel right here, you, of course, you have your uh, front fans on there, your dock lights, courtesy lights, your gen set as you'd expect. Over to the side, you can control your shades uh, as well as some of your visors here. There's also a main control um, on the panel right there in the main slide, uh, basically next to one of the rocker chairs that you can open and close all of your nightshades in the front here as well as the main living area. So that way at nighttime, just one touch of a button, all of them in your main living area will drop, giving you that privacy you want without having to individually shut down every one. You also have your standard thermostat down here so you can control your dash AC and heat. And then you have a couple extra storage areas. Again, with the uh, accent light, it does kind of light that up too, which is kind of nice and then your second one right down here. To take a look at the passenger seat, you will notice how big this chair is. This is a queen size chair is what they call it. So it's oversized, really giving the passenger a lot of comfort and flexibility to move around. Uh, this one is also eight way power. It also has the power foot rests on there. Just like the driver's seat folks, it is heated, cooled, and has the massage option. I have it on right now, it is quite relaxing. Right over here to the side, this one has the built-in monitor here. Uh, this is an option, but I really like it. As you can see, you know the same screen we're on in the navigation, it pops up right here. This gives the passenger the capability to be able to input locations. So you can basically control the navigation and truly be a co-pilot, uh, you know, helping navigate where you're going very easily. Of course, the cup holder there as well, it's pretty important that's lit up. Right underneath here, you have your battery disconnect, also your uh, baggage doors so you can lock your baggage doors from inside here and then your light well there too. Uh, over to the side again you control some shade some extra lighting. One of the things I really like if you see right here folks the passenger has their own thermostat for your, uh, your dash heat and AC so that way you can have two different temperature zones to make sure both parties are very comfortable. You'll also see you have a fold out desk here so if you need to do some work or maybe have a quick bite to eat you can do that right there as well. To make our way back, you'll see right here outside the half bathroom is your central vac. So that way you don't have to bring a vacuum with you. Hook a hose up there and you can vacuum everything up nice and quick. Remember folks, there's no carpet in here. So you don't have to worry about constantly trying to keep the carpet clean. Because of the more floor system, everything in here is the gorgeous tile. So this is our half bath. They've done a great job here. What they've done is that you have a pivot door. So that way it's easy to get into from either direction, even when the slides are closed. And then the handle itself, you'll see rather than having a door handle that can snag on your pants, you, what you do is you just push that in kind of at the top. You can grab right here and then pull the door open. Same thing with the inside right there. So uh, pretty uh, good design on the door. We make our way into the half bath. So right down here is our Dometic toilet. Of course, it is porcelain. You can see the courtesy light down there as well in case you have to, again, get up in the middle of the night, as we mentioned. Uh, this is an electric flush toilet, so that's definitely a nice feature. The control you'll see for that is right over here. Uh, the motion sensor, you can, as I mentioned, you can turn that off. So there's a motion sensor, you can turn it off there. The controls back here are for your lights, uh, also your shade for this one directly behind me. Toilet paper holder is already mounted right there for you, so you don't have to worry about finding a place for that. 
Underneath, you'll see you have a little bit of storage there under the sink for, you know, again, if you want some extra cleaning chemicals down there. Over here, you have some storage there. And then you have a pull-out drawer right here. Good size countertops in the half bath as well. You'll see you have all this extra storage. You have molded in bowls, so that way it's less chance for any kind of leaks. You have the very stylish modern faucet to go along with the modern woodwork. And again, that same gorgeous backsplash that we saw throughout the kitchen. You'll see you have an electric block right up here. It's kind of cool. It's a three-way, so you can plug in multiple different things in that, whether it's you know hair dryer, flat iron, whatever else you need to plug in. LED light here to brighten it up. You have a hand towel ring right there. You have some good storage right up here. So you can see that uh, shelving going all the way up. You also have a mirrored medicine cabinet. So if you need to store anything in there, you can do that too. Of course, you have the vanity light up top. Right there, you have a power vent fan. And you have the ceiling dressing to help make it a little bit cleaner look. And then here above the toilet, lastly, this is your fuse panel. So uh, you can see you have fuses right here. You also have spare fuses there, a couple of GFI plugs, and then your main breaker panel right there. As we step into the master bedroom, you'll see the door here again is very elegant, just like the rest of the coach. You have the ultra leather panels sectioned off there, the beautiful woodwork all the way around. In the slide out right over here is our king bed. You have Ralph Lauren uh, sheets on there, so beautiful uh, blankets that we have, the pillows as well. Gives it a great look, quality too. You can see that this actually has some weight and heft to it. Extremely comfortable mattress on here. Again, that is a king bed. And on both sides, you have wireless charging pads. You don't get much easier to charge a phone than that. Just set it right on top of there. As long as your phone is capable of wireless charging, it will charge up. You'll see you have electrical outlets underneath in case you need to plug anything in there, as well as additional storage down below that. You also have windows on both sides. So if you want some cross ventilation without running AC, you can open the windows there. And then the headboard right here actually opens up as well. You can see that slides open. You have a large window there too. So that really lets in a lot of natural light during the day. And of course you can close it off at night. A couple LED reading lights here if you want to do some reading at night. And underneath the cabinets, kind of tough to see, but you do have your multiplex controls right there. So if you want to lay in bed, be able to control the lights uh, right from bed, you can easily do that. Beautiful storage all the way across the top. You can see that hidden hinges right there up top and it is strut supported. But again, storage going all the way across the top there. Lights and then on the header right here above the uh, bed, you can see you have that header coming out for that fascia. Again, that gorgeous uh, ultra leather there. Same kind of ceiling decoration right here that we have out in the main living area. Again, hiding those AC vents. And then here at the foot of the bed, we have a slide out here as well. And you have, again, a 49-inch 4K TV right there in the center with your Bose soundbar here underneath. You have storage all around here. This is great. If you take a look over here, adjustable shelf. You have three more drawers right here. Take a look underneath that. You have two more pull-out full extension drawers there. Again, everything in here. Same cabinet construction throughout. Electrical outlet down on the wall in case you need to plug anything in. Going across the bottom here, you have four more drawers there. Right up above that, four more drawers there. Drawers everywhere in here, huh? And then if we take a look over on this side, this one's slightly different, as right here is your Blu-ray player, or I'm sorry, your DVD player there for your, uh, your TV. You also have the satellite prep in the back, HDMI uh, inlet there, and an electrical outlet. Three more drawers here. And lastly, just like on the other side, a couple more drawers there. Now, if we take a look at this wall, you do have a couple controls. You have the slide out right here. This is actually for the bed, so you can control that. You have your multiplex system, as you would expect right there. Then in the center, you basically have the silver leaf control system. So we'll have another one of these up front in the cab. But this is great because it gives you another spot in which you can control basically everything in the coach. You'll see the block heater, your gen set. And this one does, of course, have auto gen. So when your batteries get low, that'll kick back on. Your water auto fill, all your power, everything you can control right from this panel. So uh, definitely a nice extra addition to have here in the bedroom. 
As we take a look at the spacious master bathroom, you see right down here is your Dometic Concerto Electro Flush Toilet. Again, the porcelain bowl makes it easy to clean. You also see the control for it right over here, as well as your toilet paper holder. And then directly behind it is your egress door. One of the great things for 2018 is that Numar has added a ladder in this bottom portion. So that way if you do have to escape, when you open the door up, you can drop the ladder down. It makes getting out of the RV quite simple. Right over here is an access panel. It's kind of the back side of the washer and dryer in case you need to get into anything there. And then speaking of washer and dryer, we'll open this up. You can see the stackable Whirlpool units right there. You also have a pan right down below in case you do have any kind of water leakage. Underneath, you also have a pull-out drawer here, which is quite sizable. You know, it's not the deepest, but again, it is good extra storage. One of my favorite parts about the master bath is this shower. It's a 40 by 40 shower. You have a glass enclosure with an actual glass door, drop down teak seat here. You see you have the pebble accent wall as well as the pebble flooring. Take a look at the drain. You have a really cool shower drain right there too. You also see you have a couple of shelves right here as well as a step right here in the corner in case you need to shave your legs. And right over here, you have your body spa. This is way too cool. So you have a rain shower head right up top here. You also have the body spa right here in the center, as well as the ones down below. And then you even have this guy to hit your feet in case you want to wash your feet off. And then you have this very modern and sleek hand wand right over here. Then directly behind me is the gorgeous double vanity. You'll see you have vessel bowls here with your wall mounted faucet. So again, a really high end quality look. It's exactly what you're looking for there. You see you have this kind of glass tile backsplash all the way throughout. Directly above that, you have mirrored medicine cabinet with storage. You'll see the center one even has an electrical outlet in there. So if you need to plug in a hair dryer, curling iron, you can do that. Because it is a double vanity, both sides also have your hand towel ring here too. On either side, you have a wardrobe. You can see this right here, cedar lined wardrobe. You see the hanging rod going across the top. And then you have some pull out drawers here right down below. Speaking of below, we take a look underneath. You have two more electrical outlets. So you have some place to plug other things in. Storage underneath the sinks there. A bank of three drawers right here in the center can see that and then again more storage over underneath this sink and then just like we had over on this side the side also has a wardrobe but the difference here is this is where the safe will be located is right there so any valuables you can safely tuck away if the king air all closed up this is the size you have right here so you do have a walkway we're able to get from the front all the way to the back bedroom there of course the bed does kind of stop it but you can, you know, if you are able to climb over the bed, you can access the rear bath there as well. Either way, though, you still see you have excellent access to your kitchen. With the cooktop counter here, or the sink top cover, you do have prep space with it off. You have access to the sink right there. Directly behind me is your refrigerator. Both doors can open. You can open your freezer there as well. And if you need to get into the bathroom, as I showed you before, you don't have to worry about it snagging on your pants. Pivots open just like so, so you have easy access to the half bath. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features of the 2018 King Air 4534. To start off, this one is built on the Spartan K3 chassis that is built with the star foundation, giving it the rigidity and comfort while riding down the road. Housed in there is the Cummins ISX 15 liter engine, putting out 605 horsepower and 1,950 foot-pounds of torque. If we take a look at the front, you'll see the big, beautiful automotive bonded windshield. You can take a look at the side right here and see that again, it's very similar to the same process that you use in your cars rather than what you have on a lot of the RVs. So that way it's less chance again for any kind of leaks or anything to get in there. Take a look right up top, you'll see the front mounted camera. Again, that's part of that 360 view HD camera system. This whole front cap right here does slide out. I'll show you that at the end when we go around to the other side. That houses our generator compartment in there, but we'll take a look at that in just a moment. First off though, or before that, we'll talk about your mirrors here, bi-directional mirrors. You do have your blinker signal right in there. And also you have your cameras in there too, to help cover the blind spots as you're switching lanes. 
we take a look right down here, that is the HWH hydraulic step system. This is an awesome step system. Obviously, we have it locked out right now. You can, of course, have it go back in when you shut the door, as you would expect. Uh, this also has a really nice sensor on it. So that way, you can see it's a pretty big step system, which is great. The, the purpose of it is it eliminates having to bring the small little extra step that you see so many people with your beautiful coaches have. But the cool thing about it is when it comes out, if you have a curb right there, it'll hit that curb and stop. It's not gonna smash into it or grind into it. So the sensor right there works very well. Of course, you have our entry door right above that. You'll see right to the side here with a grab handle with the keyless entry. You have three different modes to get into the RV here. You have your key fob, the key itself, and the keyless entry. You also have a doorbell in here, which is pretty neat as well. Uh, you can see the frameless windows. We'll see that as we go throughout the coach. Not only do those look really nice, you can also uh, you know, have a couple of those open while it's raining. You can get some airflow coming through. Now on the King Air, your main living room windows right here do not open. Instead, they're bigger. They give that big bus appearance. Uh, definitely a great looking window on the coach. It also helps protect the seal because the seal is behind the glass. So it's not getting beat up nearly as bad by the elements. We take a look right up above the door. You have your door awning right there. That also has an LED light, so you can light it up. And of course, that'll keep you nice and dry when entering or exiting the RV. Above that, you have your Gerard Nova awnings. Those are phenomenal awnings, folks. If you haven't seen them before, definitely something you wanna check out. Essentially, it has a second pitch to it, so it comes out and then comes down. Uh, again, beautiful awnings. They work extremely well. Those also have LED lights there, as you can see. On top of the slides, you have these slide out toppers right there. They are mounted to the side of the unit instead of on the slide itself. Uh, it definitely gives a much nicer appearance. It also has a brush on there, which is really cool. So that way, as your slide is coming back in, not only is it, you know, all your debris and stuff naturally falling off, it actually has a brush to push all of the pine cone sticks, anything else that may be on top of the slide right off. Underneath that, you see the du uh, dual window awnings here. Those window awnings are powered, so just touch a button to have those come out. And again, same thing to head right back in. The beautiful paint on here, folks, is second to none. This is BASF paint, masterpiece finish on there. Folks, there are five steps of cut and buff here. So you wanna talk about a high intensity paint job, this is it. You rub your hand across here, folks, you cannot feel anything in between the different paint colors. So gorgeous paint job on here. And then again, you have a recessed slide out all the way around. So it gives that seamless look, less chance to have any water come in too as you're going down the road in the rain. Right here is one of two fuel fills. You do have fuel fill on both sides. 200 gallon diesel tank on there too. We take a look at the tires, beautiful Michelin tires. You have 365s up here, 315s in the back. Of course, those are 22.5s all the way around. Uh, you also have a 55 degree wheel cut up front here with a eight degree wheel cut on your tag axle. It is a passive steerable tag, which is pretty darn cool too. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of our uh, storage underneath here. Probably my favorite part about the exterior, I mean, obviously again, gorgeous paint job, but one of the things I love is the fact that you don't have handles. Instead, it's all push button. It makes it super clean. So all you do is you just push the button just like so, unlocks it, we'll open it up. Now on most of your new Mars, right here is where you'll have your Dometic fridge freezer, but instead they moved it back a little bit and they opted to have a larger storage area here because this was something that you'll obviously be able to access quite easily as it's right next to the door. So that way you can get what you need and head right back out. As far as closing the compartment doors, you can see it actually has a soft close just like that. So you shut it and it actually latches itself in the rest of the way. That way you don't have to worry about having, uh, you know, a, a, trying to slam the door or not having it shut as that is a common problem on a lot of motorhomes. Right here is one of your two power slide trays. So your control for it's right up here. This can obviously go out either side. You'll have another control on the door on the opposite side. You'll also see the doors right here up front. You can actually lift this up and drop it down. So if you have some larger items, you need to slide in and off here. It's a lot easier to do that with being able to drop that front lip. 
If you've never used a power slide tray before, you'll see when it gets back home, it does stop. You don't have to worry about it continuing through and banging on the door on the other side. Right here is your second power tray. So again, just like the first, and that does go all the way through. You can see that in there. You can see it's lit up. Take a look. I talked about the star foundation. You can see part of that right here. Uh, essentially what the star foundation is, folks, is it takes a bunch of uh, basically triangles, very similar to a truss system or a bridge, to help eliminate a lot of those static forces. So it really does create uh, an excellent uh, foundation and a smooth ride. You can take a look right here. This is a pull-out tray. Again, this is that Dometic fridge freezer that I talked about. Normally it's up in that front compartment there. Pull this guy out. The controls for it are right here, nice and simple to use. Open it up just like so. Then you can actually lift her here and you can see you have several different compartments. Now, you know, personally, I'd probably use it more as a refrigerator, but if you do have a lot of stuff you need to keep frozen, you know, maybe you just caught some fresh fish or, um, you know, you just have, again, have a bunch of meat and stuff that you brought with you. Maybe you're having a steak dinner. You can store it right out here. You also have your, uh, the outside of your dirt devil right there, so that's where your dump will be. You'll also notice that you have an electrical outlet tucked away right there too. Making our way down a little bit further here. So this one actually lifts up like so. Take a look at this too. You have the beautiful chrome plate on the bottom. I love that. Not only does it look really nice, but it'll also help keep things a little bit cleaner. You know, it's, again, it's run along the bottom. So any rocks or anything that do get tossed up, you know, hopefully won't uh, scratch up the paint. You have that chrome plate running down. This is your entertainment center. If you plan to watch the game outside, you can set up some chairs right around here. You also have the Bose sound bar there for amazing sound quality. And then right here, we'll open this one up. Again, this one lifts up 16 AGM house batteries on this coach, folks. As I mentioned earlier, this one does have two inverters, two 3000 watt inverters. With the 16 batteries and those inverters, it does allow you to run both the refrigerator and that midship AC off just the batteries. So that's pretty darn cool. So we come back here again. This, of course, is your drive axle. Uh, the rear one, obviously, being the passive steerable tag. As far as your uh, weight to the axles, both your front axle and your drive axle here are 20,000 pounds. Your tag axle is 14,000, giving you a 54,000 pound GVWR. Opening this guy up right here, you can see your DEF fill. This is, uh, is a 15 gallon tank right there. And lastly, right here in the back, you see you have your uh, two chassis batteries here, air dryer off to the side, fuel filter there as well. This is for your, uh, your engine. This does have a power engine gate, so if you wanna lift that up, just flip a switch there. I don't currently have the coach on. Of course, you have to have it on, so you have to have essentially air running. I don't have any air built up right now, but uh, that is how you lift it up. So right in the back here is that Cummins ISX 15 liter, as I said, folks. You'll see that you don't have a rear radiator. You know, I'll lift this up real quick so you can take a look in there, but as you can see, it is a lot more easily serviceable without having that radiator right there in the back. Uh, if we take a look down below here, 20,000 pound hitch on here, folks. It's a big coach, it can tow a lot too. If you want a stackable trailer, you can have that. You have Voyager camera system right there over to the side. You see your seven pin right here. And then you also have air brake control there as well. Down below, you have your uh, Numar flap there, so that way you're not throwing a bunch of mud at people behind you. So we make our way to the driver's side here. As I mentioned, side radiator, you have that right over there. Uh, cool thing about having a side radiator, A, of course, was the serviceability, as I mentioned, but also it kind of functions almost as a ram air, as you will have better airflow coming in on the side of the coach here, and it's generally cooler outside air rather than your engine air. You take a look right up above that. This is that egress door that I had talked about when we were inside. Again, this opens up and you do have a ladder that drops out so you can easily get out of the coach in case of emergency. Right over here is your second DEF fill so you can fill it from either side. Right here is our wet bay. So as we take a look inside, one of the things that's really cool on the King Air is instead of having a composite, you'll see it has the stainless steel panels here. So definitely gives it that high class look. Right over to the side, this is our Mana Block water system. 
This is really cool, folks. Uh, basically, it's great for serviceability. If you need to close off specific appliances, you can do that. You can see here, you can close off a shower, you need to close off toilets, you can do that too, water heater. It just is excellent for any kind of service you have to perform on the coach. You have your uh, tank monitoring panel right there, as well as your pump and fill. Right underneath, you have power tank valves. So you have your, of course, black and gray right there. Nice and easy to use. SantaCon system, I'll show you that in just a moment. Uh, if you take a look right up top, this is pretty handy too. They tell you exactly how to winterize your coach. So if you ever forget, right there it is. They make it easy. Delta residential faucet for your outside shower here. So rather than just having your standard RV faucet, again, this is an actual residential faucet. And you can tell from the hand wand. You know, it's a nice mowing hand wand there. Uh, again, very residential. Opening up this compartment here, uh, you will see you have both your gray tank as well as a black tank rinse on here, your low point drains for both of those as well. Hot and cold low point drains there too. And if we take a look right underneath that, you see your whole house filter here. And right behind that is your SureFlow water pump. You can see that tucked away right behind there. So, uh, you know, if for any kind of service or maintenance, if you ever need to get to it, it is quite easily accessible. So I talked about the SantaCon system, essentially what you have right here, the Thetford. Uh, this is great, you know, works uh, excellent. Essentially, it's a macerator. Just stick this guy in the ground, you're good to go. My only piece of advice, folks, is if you're in a hurry or trying to hook things up, please make sure you take the cap off. Otherwise, I promise you'll have a mess. If you want to forego that system, you can do that too. You can just have your standard uh, sewer hose dropping right down and out there. Over here is your water hose. It is on a power cord reel, so that is super convenient to wrap that guy back up. Moving up a little further here. So again, this is the other side of our power trays. And as I promised on both of these, you'll see right here on the doors, you do have the controls for those. So you're able to, again, operate it from either side. So we come to the last compartment right here, folks. This is your uh, pressure sprayer here. So if you wanna wash down the coach, you know, take care of it. This makes it super simple and easy for you. I love the fact that it's here. You'll also see over to this side, you have a storage location right there for your squeegee. This is your second fuel fill, which if you're not familiar, folks, the reason you'd want two fuel fills is because if you've never driven a, a 45 foot bus before, it can be really tough to get into a lot of gas stations. So having fuel fill on either side opens up the availability to allow you to fill from either side. Or if you pull right in the center, if it's nice and open, sometimes you can fill from both sides at the same time, which is pretty cool too. Uh, but again, that is quite handy. Now in order to protect it, you'll see it is pretty far forward here. So what Numar did is there's actually a steel plate that protects that fuel line. So that way, if in the rare event you have a blowout here of your front tire, it'll make sure it's not gonna sever that fuel line. So excellent safety precaution right there. And then as we make our way up to the very front here, uh, you'll see you have your fuses for the front half of the coach right there. You also have your extra fuse panel or not fuse panel, I'm sorry, spare fuses right here. So if you need to you know, quickly access some fuses, you have them there. And right down here, folks, this is the control for the front end. As I mentioned, the whole thing actually comes forward here. This opens up our generator compartment. So right there, you can see your Cummins Onan 12.5K generator. You know, you have your breaker on there. If you need to start it from there, of course, you can do that too. Your hours are on there as well. And you also see you have access to your air horns right there as well. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018 Numar King Air 4534. If you're interested in this beautiful Class A and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.